Hello everyone! Today, finish objects and this lovely hat. Hello, my name is Barbara and I'm going to tell you how I made this hat and by made I mean knit it. So first things first, I received yarn from a lovely viewer, thank you so much. Obviously that yarn was for something else, for really tiny mini hats. But I just couldn't resist, I knew that I will be able to knit a hat with it, so why not? And checking colors, wow. So that's that. I used needles. And that's Net Pro interchangeable needles, but they're the little ones for hats. So hmm, if you're buying a set, just bear in mind are they long ones or short ones? So these are short ones, and the cable is 40 centimeters. And as I said, it's interchangeable, so I can take it off. And this is my pouch, lavender. Also for this hat, I use DPNs and a hook, and I keep them in my DPNs pouch. Also, I found an earring, so I thought that maybe I'll make a um, stitch marker with it, and I did. This is how it looks like. And the way I put it in is just, I slide it in. This is just elastic band. So you need needles. My DPNs are 10 centimeters, so they're like um, five inch, I think. Yarn. I can't show you. The only thing I can show you what is left is this color. And even though you may think it's um, gray, it's more kind of beige color. Uh, and that's what I have left. And that's enough for mini hats. That's eventually enough for mini hats, yeah. Now I knitted it in this lovely project bag, which I got also for a reviewer. And I love it. It has a really tiny heart over here. White inside. Not sure if she doesn't have a shop. It matched so much. Okay, back to this hat. This hat is going to be a next month giveaway hat, which I probably record video as soon as I can. Um, right. Yeah, if you like it, go watch next video. Cool. I use three colors. As you can see, that's really lovely navy color. It's really navy, 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 navy like marine. And then we have aqua, oh, beautiful, and then that beige. But that beige just kind of, mm, can I say highlights, shades? So you have a beige, beige and grayish in it, two ply twisted together. I think it's all acrylic, so you should be safe if you want to wash it. But I'll confirm that, so whoever wins it, I think it's all acrylic, but as it was a gift, hard for me to say. But I love this pom-pom. And the pom-pom I made just with the uh, navy and just with the aqua. Love it. Okay, how did I do it? I cast it on my cast on, not a uh, long tail cast on, it's this Really quick, easy thing, and I will just post video over here for you to have an idea what I do. And I cast it on this time. Normally I cast it on a 64 stitches when I used a double stranded. What I mean by double stranded, I mean that I use this. And I think this is a DK. So I just double DK. I use 4.5 millimeter, 40 centimeter uh, circular needles, and I have a go. I cast it on 70 stitches. I don't want to have it too tight. I want to have it nicely and I think this is my number. Um, so my head is 22 inches. It is 56 centimeters. So if you have the same ball as I have, you 
ready to go. What I did, I did ribbing, which is two, two, basic, two pearl, two knit, or two knit, two pearl, whichever you want to do. And I did that for 10 rows or nine rows, I think, something like this. Then I swapped it for aqua and I did stuck in stitch, which means that in the round you knit. And that's all. But to be a little bit aware on the back, so I didn't have some kind of ladder changing colors, I did that. Home, don't know how to call it. Right, then I went to stuck in that stitch, which was two aqua, two beige, or grayish, whatever you would like, but this is more kind of beige color. And I went so on, so on. I think on this one over here, I did six or seven. The movie Gotham was too good, I just couldn't stop. But anyway, it was kind of in the middle and I was going up. At this point, around, I started decreasing. Anyway, so I divided it by five, I placed markers and I started decreasing after the marker because instead of doing knit two together, I did knit two together with through the back loop. And that's that. So I did one decrease, one round decrease, three rounds knitting, one round decrease, one round knitting. I repeat that section that is just one one um, three times and then from then on I just started to decreasing after the marker every round. So that's why it's kind of pointy. <laughs> well, I like it that way anyway. It meant to be for me, but the time is ticking and I have monthly hat giveaway, so that's why this hat is going to be the one. I hope you don't mind. And then I bind off, so I pull it together. I'll post maybe some photos over here. If you're not following me on Instagram and you're kind of interested in knitting, go and check Knitting I Love because I have photos over there. That point, this one exactly, I bind off. So I decided that I have enough stitches that I could kind of cut the thread or yarn and pull it through the stitches and pull it hard. Yeah. And then I made a pom-pom, sew it together and voila. So I hope you did like this one. Subscribe, don't miss any videos, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Yeah, do something that you like, which makes you happy, and I hope there's little things, like I love little things. So I got those socks blockers. <laughs>